Okay. So in the last session, we have started with chapter 10, which is straight lines, right? And in this yes, chapter, we have learned, we just started it and we are drawn to the slope only. The first thing that I have learned in this chapter is what? We have learned that what do we mean by the slope of a line? So basically, slope means what? Who is going to tell me? Yes, it forms an angle of inclination. Slope means what? Ma'am, slope, slope of is a the tangent of angle of inclination. Okay, yes, correct. The tangent of angle of inclination which is given by A. Okay, anyone else? In simple words, what will what do you mean by slope? Slope basically means gradient of a line, right? Slope means gradient. And this tells us how a line is inclined with our x-axis, correct? So if the angle of in inclination is given to us, I can easily find the slope. And then there were few cases also. Case one. If theta is acute. Now, Disha, can you tell me the nature of the slope? What can you say about it? Ma'am, it would be positive. Yes, very good. For example, it is will it will be like this. Correct, the line is going to be like this. Reason because here you can see this is going to be acute. Next. If the theta is obtuse, in that case, what can you say about the slope? Negative. Will be negative. Negative. Right? Now, Sami, what if the theta is going to be 90 degree? Can you tell me what will be what will be the slope when the angle is 90 degree? Not defined. Not defined. Very good. Slope of line will be not defined because 10, 90 degrees is not defined. Okay, if the angle of inclination is given to us, I can find the slope like this. Now suppose angle of inclination is not given to us, but it is given the line is passing through two points. So now can you tell me what will be the slope? y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Very good. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in fact, in the last class, we learned about how to find this. Okay, great. Then, right? fine. So this is how we find the slope. Right? And Arjan? Sorry, Aditya, am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Aditya, we have started with the chapter 10, that is the straight lines, and I'm just giving a quick review of this. So, here comes the first thing we have learned in this chapter is the line, and basically, you know what is line, it is simply a simple that one dimension representation correct if you will keep on moving it this is single line but we will be representing this in our 2d plane because in our 2d plane how many lines are there ma'am infinite in infinite right so how can we identify them there should be some naming procedure 
a some identification that should be given to them so that we can say okay this line is different to the other one and here comes that we if this can be done only if i know the equation of line so equation of before coming to that part first we will like to see how the line is inclined at an angle of how the line is inclined to the x axis it means if a line is going to inclined at some different angles with x axis so clearly the line is going to be different right <laughs> so first thing we observe okay we should focus on the slope of a line so we will be looking for a slope slope can be find as slope is given by there are two ways if the angle of inclination is given to us slope is given by m of tan theta but this is applicable only if slope is given to us if the slope oh, sorry if the angle of inclination is given to us now angle of inclination sum is what do you mean by angle of inclination do you remember that angle at which line is formed no anyone else angle made by a line with positive x axis yes angle made by the line and measured and measured anti clockwise yes very good angle made by a line with positive x axis measured in anti clockwise direction okay this is important so whenever we are finding the slope we should look at the angle made by the x axis fine now today i'll be doing one more case here in which we need to see the condition for the parallelism and the perpendicular okay how the two lines which are perpendicular and parallel what can you say about their slope okay so first of all condition of per 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 parallel okay condition for parallelism now try to understand what happened Suppose a line is given to us, which is drawn like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to make one more line. what happens here let me name these line to be ab pq all right clear now try to understand what will be the slope of ab if i need to find the slope of ab it means i need to look at this angle Yes or no? Right? 
Yes, ma'am. Now, if for the line PQ, if I need to find the slope, I need to look at this angle. Yes, ma'am. Now, is there any relationship between these two angles? Ma'am, corresponding angles. Corresponding. Very good. Right, Aditya, this is clear. No, ma'am, I didn't get it, ma'am. Two lines are drawn, and these are the angles which are given to us. Because to find the slope, I should always try to measure the angle made with x-axis, right? So if I need to find the slope of AB, I have to look for the angle made with x-axis. This angle. Let me name it to be angle one. For line PQ, if I need to find the slope, I have to look for this angle, which is angle. Two here, right? Now, these two lines are parallel or not? Yes, ma'am. Now, if the two lines are parallel and there is comes a transversal, these two angles are equal. Reason? They are corresponding angles, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, other thing, try to see here. If you will look at angle one and angle two, aren't they looking corresponding angles to you? Yes, ma'am. So angle one is equal to angle two. These are corresponding angles. Now, suppose if I need to find the slope of line AB, a slope. Of AB, ma'am, tan of then, angle one. Yes, tan of angle one, and slope of PQ is tan of angle two. Correct. Now, tan of angle one, tan of angle two. Actually, the angles are same. If the angle are same, so the slope slope are also going to be same. Yes, ma'am. So, what does it this imply? Ma'am, parallel lines have same slope. Yes, very good. So here comes the conclusion that the parallel lines are always going to have the same slope. Same slope. This is going to help us a lot. Right. So this will help us see how to identify whether. Whether the two two lines are equal or parallel or not. So suppose if line one is given, line two is given. You need to check whether the two are parallel or not. You will check whether the slope are equal or not. If they are equal, then yes, the two lines are parallel. Otherwise, the two lines are not parallel. Okay, this is clear. Yes, yes ma'am. This this was the case when we need to look for the parallel lines. Okay, now let's take another one. I'll be representing it on the same one. Okay. Now suppose a a line is drawn like this. Ma'am, what is the heading for this graph? Uh, the, there is no heading. I am just simply checking the perpendicularly or parallel okay, condition. Ma'am. And in fact, I am drawing the same on the same graph. Okay. Now look for this line, green line, which is your line x y. Okay. Now. 
it is given to me that this line is perpendicular to the given line what does that mean Ma'am, what? Equals to 90. If suppose look at this line x y, this is at 90 degree with P Q. Okay, this is at 90 P Q. Yeah, P Q is perpendicular to x y. Now, if I am looking for the slope, it means I need to look at how much angle it is going to make with x axis. Yes, ma'am. Ninety percent angle two. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Very good, Samir. Correct. So the angle is going to be ninety plus angle two, which I can assume to be theta. So this is ninety plus theta. So if I need to find the slope of x y, this is going to be ten of ninety plus theta. Ten plus ninety, yes, ma'am. Now, ten ninety plus theta. What it will be? Recall the chapter three here. Chapter three. Um. Are you? Pura bhul gaye? None of you. The where? What it will be? Mom, I have I have not studied it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, Yogeshwari, Kushi, yeah, okay, very good. Kushi have the answer. So ten ninety degree plus theta is given by minus cot theta. One minus. Because if you will look at this ninety plus theta, it means the angle is going to lie in the second quadrant, and in the second quadrant, tan is always negative. So this gives me slope is going to be minus cot theta, right? Now, if suppose I want to express it in terms of tan theta, so this means it is going to be minus one upon tan theta. Yes, right? ma'am. Yes, Kushi, yours is correct. Minus cot theta. So now, if suppose m one is ten theta, in place of m one, I can substitute ten theta. So slope, second slope is going to be minus one upon m one. And here comes the condition for perpendicularity. What's that condition? Condition for perpendicularity oh, means when will you say? Yeah, when will we say the two lines are perpendicular to each other? When the slope of the second one is equal to the negative reciprocal. If this is the condition, then the two slope, the two lines are perpendicular. Okay, got it? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Divya, कौन सा पार्ट नहीं क्लियर हो आपको? Ma'am, ये जो slope of x y है, I didn't get it. Okay, let's look at the diagram again. Ma'am, slope होता क्या है? Slope is the angle of an slope. Basically, it tells us how the slopey line is. जैसे आप सिंपली क्या बोलते हो इट इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड द ग्रेडियंट सपोज यू आर राइडिंग ऑन यू हैव टू राइड ऑन योर बाइसाइकिल ठीक है सपोज देर इज अ पर्सन यू हैव टू राइड द बाइसाइकिल ऑन दिस पाथ नाउ इन विच ऑफ द पाथ इट इज इजियर टू ड्राइव फ्रॉम द वन विद लेस स्लोप लेस स्लोप राइट The slopiness, the measure to how to measure the slopiness of a line. Here we sell that slope. Slopiness means कितना आपका जैसे-जैसे आप move करोगे, कैसे path change हो रहा है. 
line ka this is called the slopiness so the slope of a line is a number which will help us to measure the slopiness of any line how slopy a line is if you will look at the path 1 and 2 you can clearly see which one is more slopy ma'am 2 2 right so we need a fixed parameter with the help of which we can decide whether the slope how we can measure the slopiness of any two given line so it is very simple we will be assuming that we need to find the angle made with the x axis you will see here and here which is which one is greater clearly in the second case angle is going to be more than this one that's why this is more so okay now this is See for uh, here. Look at this one. I need to find the slope of a line x y which is perpendicular to the line p q. Okay. So just forget about the line a b. Suppose line a b is not there. The only thing I need to find for the line x y. Now try to understand here. Here I have a line. I have drawn a line which is perpendicular to line p q. Now if I need to find the it means this this angle is going to be 90 degree correct yes ma'am if i need to find its slope i need to see the i need to find the angle made with x axis in anti clockwise direction right which you can see this is the angle yes ma'am now This much is ninety, and this is theta. So what is what will be the angle for line x y? Ninety plus theta. And to find the slope, I need to put ten ninety plus theta. Yes, ma'am. Now, by using trigonometric identities, you need to remember this: that ten ninety plus theta is always minus cos theta. Okay, ma'am. this is the part we need to remember next thing is we just need to substitute the values here so here minus cot theta but again i want something which is already known to me because i have a line ab and its slope is known to me so here minus 1 upon 10 theta and 10 theta is m1 that's why this becomes minus 1 upon m1 so it tells us whenever what is the benefit of finding the slope first condition if the lines are parallel to each other you don't have to worry about their slopes again and again all you need to do is just if a slope for a given line is known to us we can easily find the slope for the next one without actually doing any calculation ma'am similarly yes ma'am to yes, m of xy equals to minus 1 upon m of a uh, pq hoga na yes Okay, ma'am. Slope of x y line is equal to the minus one upon m of p q. Now this can also be written as minus one upon m of a b. Is there any problem with this? No, ma'am. Because the two lines are parallel, so they are, or both of them share the same slope, right? Correct. now let and this also help us suppose i have no idea about the lines how do they look like the only thing is given to me suppose the slope is given to me this is minus 1 and this is 1 by 2 and somebody is asking us whether the two lines are parallel or perpendicular are they going to be perpendicular are the two lines going to be perpendicular if their slope is given by this yes no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am reason ma'am because minus 1 upon ma'am because m2 is not equals to minus 1 upon yes, m1 yes so they are not perpendicular what about the parallel 
Ma'am. No, Ma'am. Clearly, they are not going to be parallel, right? Yes, Ma'am. Okay. Now let's come to our exercise questions because we have started our exercise in the last session. The only introduction to the slope was given to us. So let's start with our exercise. Ten point one. I hope you guys have completed few of the questions. First of all, I would like. How many questions were done from this exercise? Ten point one. Until question five. Okay, and the other thing, since you are not present, just drop me a text. I'll provide you the class recording. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So next is question number six. It says without using the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, I can't use the Pythagoras theorem. Show that the two, three, the points are given to us: four and four, three and five. Minus one and one. Let me name them P, Q, R. We need to show that the, these are the vertices of right triangles. This, this is what I will have to show. How can I do this? In general, let me draw a right triangle first of all. I cannot use the Pythagoras theorem. How can I prove this one? Ma'am, first we will find slope. Yes. What we will do? Okay, I cannot actually name them PQR because I don't know which angle is ninety degree. If somehow I am able to get that any of the two lines are perpendicular. Then I can say that the it is a right triangle, right? So let's start yes, first. I will try to find the slope of line PQ. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, can I ask before answering? Uh, I mean, doing. Yes. Ma'am, first we will find slope, and then whichever uh, slope is equal to minus one by um, the slope that that will be perpendicular. Hmm. Yes. Or if let's do one more thing here. If you look at this condition, m two is equal to minus one upon m one. This can be actually written as m one into m two is equal to minus one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is a better way of saying this. So basically, yes. we will find the slope, and then we will look which of the form is going to satisfy. Okay, so let's find it out. I hope you guys can easily find the slope. So I'm not going to find it out. I will like to have the answers from you. Find the slope. What's the slope of PQ? Ma'am, minus one. Anyone else? Yes. And what about QR? Ma'am, Sami, what is the slope two. of? Three by two. Three by two. Okay. Yes, correct. Yes, 
Divya, can you tell me the scope of PR? And one second. One. Okay, okay. Shwar is saying one. Yes, correct. Yes, ma'am. One. Yes. So, can you tell me which of the lines are perpendicular to each other? Ma'am, PQ and PR. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. So, since MPQ into MPR. Is equals to minus one. What does that mean? They are perpendicular. Yes, this implies PQ is perpendicular to PR. So, can you tell me at this point which vertex will come? Ma'am P. 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 Now PQ and R. Very good. So this is the exercise ten point one question number six. See very easily. I haven't used. I haven't used anything here. All I have used is the slope. I haven't used the Pythagoras theorem. So you will see that there are not only one way of solving the questions. You can in fact use many of the ways. Right now, let's come to the seventh one. The question says, find the slope of line. Okay, I just need to find the slope. Right. And it is saying the line makes an angle 30 degree with the positive direction of the y-axis. What does that mean? Try to think of this. स्लोप निकालने से एरिया भी निकालने के लिए आ सकता है यस दे कैन आल्सो आस्क अस टू फाइंड द एरिया आल्सो नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस व्हाट डज इट क्वेश्चन से इट सेस इट इज नॉट गिवन टू मी दैट व्हाट स्लोप इज इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग मी द एंगल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इंक्लिनेशन वन मोर इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन इट से is that the line makes an angle of 30 degree with positive direction of y axis this is 30 degree and it is also saying positive direction of y axis so means i have to take the angle here and an anti clockwise direction this is also given to us um, so angle of inclination inclination equals to 60 degree Yes. yes to find the slope i need to find the angle of inclination which is theta now you can see here that theta plus 30 minus 30 degree to be 90 degree so theta will be 90 degree minus 30 which is actually 60 degree correct theta is 60 degree yes, but we need to find the slope to find the slope m is given by 10 theta and theta is 60 degree so from here m becomes 1060 what's the value of 1060 yes root 3 root 3 very good and this is what they were asking us to do see the common mistake students will do here they will think okay theta is 30 degree But theta is not thirty degree. 
this is the angle with the y axis but we need to have the angle with the x axis angle of inclination is always measured with the x axis and not only x axis we need to show that it is taken in the positive direction with the and the clock this is also yes right so this is also fine yes ma'am yes ma'am okay let's move to the next topic but before that i would like to ask you one more thing how many of you know know about this term collinear points what are these points ma'am they are the area is zero yes ma'am the area of sum of two point. equals to uh, the third okay someone is saying sum of two is equals to the third ma'am and the area of triangle equals to zero, zero. and area of the triangle formed by them is zero yes okay anything else but okay fine else nothing yogeshwari can you tell me no ma'am the line same plane Okay, the line same place. Anything else? Well, all these descriptions. This is not the definition of the collinear one. None of these are saying that the points are collinear. Then. try to understand the term collinear co co means something which is common linear i'm sure you know the term linear what does a linear word means from one to line no yes. not one how can we do one line right so common line well remember this point which lie on a points which same lie line. on a same line they are called collinear point whatever you have written here these are the conditions these these means these are the conditions for the side but actually what is the definition the points which lie on a same line are called collinear collinear right point. okay fine this is it this is same as saying if somebody is asking you what do you mean by the parallel line so aap kya bologe mam um, lines which never Are you, which never intersect which never intersect at the door yeah or you can say they are equidistant to each other no matter at which point yes ma'am right so ya fir aap ye bologe do lines jo jinke slope same hote hain unhe parallel line kehte hain no this is a condition but actual definition is what the two lines which are on the same plane but they are not going to intersect each other so in the same manner if somebody is asking us what are the collinear points so your answer should be this i'm not saying these are wrong but however the same plane is not the correct one because they can lie in the same plane but they are not collinear for example this 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 you can see that all the three points are on the same plane right yes ma'am yes ma'am but they are not in a same line right? same line okay now what it has now again we are looking for something with the help of slope so how can i show that the, the three points are collinear 
I can use only the concept of slopes. We are not looking for this, this. Well, if the three lines are the same, it means if I am going to find the slope of AB, slope of BC, slope of AC, aren't they going to be the same? Yes, ma'am. Because they are on the same line, right? So no matter which point you are choosing, the slope is always going to be the same. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mommy, did you say to you, slope are always going to be equal if the three points are on the same line. So this is the condition we will be using to prove any two. Three points are collinear. Okay, this condition will be used here. So whenever somebody is asking you to prove the three points are collinear, I have to use this slope concept. Remember this always. Okay. Right? Clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, if you will look at the question number nine, it says without using parallel. Distance formula show that the four points are the vertices of a parallelogram. I'm sure you can do this. First of all, I would like to know what do you mean by a parallelogram? Ma'am, opposite sides are parallel and equal. Yes, opposite pairs of sides are. Are equal. Now try to understand how can I say that the two the points are perpendicular. Sorry, parallelogram. It means I need to show that the two of you two pairs are going to be parallel. And which concept I have to use because I cannot use the equal concept. Distance formula is not allowed. How can I show? With the help of slopes. Yes, and what can be done? If slope of both side will, will be equal. It means slope yes, of this line and the slope of this line. They should be equal. 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 Same. Yes, their slope of this and this they should also be equal. And this will help us to show that the given vertices are the vertices of a So can you do this one? Right? Yes, ma'am. So similarly, try to do the questions from this exercise also, and then we will start with the new topic in the next class, where we will be. Finding the angle between the two lines. Okay, that will be done in the next session. Fine. Ma'am, we are yeah, about to start regular time only. Yes, your test will be at the same time at which we used to have a class. 